Hi, I'm Nikolai, aka 56 Miner, and today we're unboxing our October Basics box. This month's box is all about ink. We'll go over some different techniques to use with this medium, talk about the materials, create a simple illustration, and I'll share some tips and tricks that I picked up while working with everything. Let's get into it. For our service this month, we have the Graphics Aqua Pad from the Marabou Company. The cellulose paper in this pad has a unique texture to it and is great for a variety of mediums. The next two items in our box are going to be a set of King Art Inkline Pens, a medium brush, and 3mm chisel. I love these pens because they allow you to create more organic or structured lines depending on the one you use. Using our medium brush, we can create a variety of thin or thick lines depending on how we hold it. And it's also just really good for lines with some line weight variants to them. Our chisel tip will give us the most graphic lines, but we can still reveal some of the texture of our pad when using the widest part of our pen. It's also great for repetitive or more graphic element. With the fall season upon us, it's definitely time for spooky season. Let's doodle a few things to familiarize ourselves with our pens. You'll notice that the chisel tip has a tendency to make our drawings a bit more angular and structured, but that wide nip is great for filling in areas with black. Our brush tip on the other hand is going to give us softer lines and it's going to be better for things with a lot of curves in them. Now I know that sketching with a pen can be a bit intimidating due to the permanent nature of the medium, but sketching with pen is a great way to loosen up, familiarize yourself with your materials, and it's a great way for idea generation. This way you can kind of explore some concepts without committing to anything. These pens are also great if you're interested in calligraphy or lettering work. They're also a great tool if you're interested in zen doodling, which is just when you fill a page with squiggles and dots, and just kind of have a more relaxing experience with your art. Whether you're just sketching or doodling, there's no wrong way to use these pens, but it is important that you put pen to paper so that you can have some fun this month. Let's grab the next item in our box, the Speedball Super Black India Ink. This carbon-based ink offers a really rich dark black that we can dilute into a variety of values. And for our brush, we have a half inch flat wash from the Princeton Company. These brushes are great to allow you to fill large areas fairly quickly. Let's also grab the four well palette included in this month's box. That way we can mix some values and keep them separate from each other. Dipping our brush directly into our ink pot, we can get that nice rich black. And because we're working with a more dry brush, we'll get to see a little bit of the texture of our pad. Washing out our brush a bit in some clean water, we can create a secondary value. This will just be a lighter wash and will give us a smoother application because we're using more water. By dipping our brush in more clean water, we can further dilute that ink, creating a wide variety of values. By first laying down a wash of ink or just pure water, we can use a wet on wet technique. By dipping a bit of our black ink into that wet surface, the ink will bloom and spread through that wet area. This is a great technique for creating more abstract backgrounds, as we can always go back in and interact with that ink while our surface is wet. Let's grab the last item in our box, the Winsor & Newton Drawing Ink in Orange. Right out of the bottle, this ink offers us a really beautiful and vibrant orange. We can create subtle gradients with our inks this month, by working fairly quickly while that surface is still wet. We can do this by washing out our brush and adding more water, thus diluting the ink as we work our way down through that gradient. Now that we have a good understanding of our materials, let's create a simple illustration utilizing what we learned. For this, I'm going to be using the sketching pencil from our July box, but you can use any pencil that you might have on hand. I'll start by using a ramekin to create a circle as I'm going to take some inspiration from our prompt harvest and do a harvest moon scene this month. With my circle established, I'm going to go in and start to sketch in a black cat into our scene. I'm going to start by establishing the bottom point, that way I know how big to make my cat. For its head, I'm starting with a football shape and then adding a square top for the cranium and its two ears. Because I'm going to be working in silhouette for the cat, I'm not too worried about 
the anatomy of the legs. I'm more so just trying to get the overall shapes established. Even when working in such a simple style, I do recommend that you look at photos of whatever you're depicting. That way, you can be sure that you're not forgetting anything that might be obvious later on. Using our King Art chisel tip pen, I'll go in and line my sketch. Focusing more on the outside edge than the interior edge, as we're going to go back in and fill in our cat with black later on. Using our undiluted drawing ink, I'll go in and create a ledge that the cat will sit on. And then washing out my brush, I'll go in and fill the circle that we established early on. I'm going to use our wet on wet technique in order to create the texture on the surface of the moon. Dabbing in some of that undiluted ink, we can move it around across the wet surface. But make sure not to overwork it so you still get those fun texture effects. Making sure to allow my orange ink to dry fully, I can go in with our super black and start to fill in our cat. It's really, really important that you let that first layer of ink dry, otherwise your black will bleed into your orange and will lose those nice crisp lines that we did with the King Art pen. While you can always fill in your cat with pure black, I'm going to imply that back leg by leaving a little bit of the white paper showing through. This simple, small graphic element will help to imply a bit more structure in our construction of the cat. As a final step, I'll go in with our King Art Medium Brush Pen and add two slits for the eyes and a few whiskers to our cat. That's all for this month's video. Hope you enjoyed it, learned a few things, and if you post your work online, make sure you use hashtag SketchboxOctober. We love seeing what y'all create each month. And if you want to check out any of our previous videos, head over to our YouTube channel where you can like and subscribe. And I'll see you next month.